we're going to get to this. When a new administration takes over, talks about where the economy is headed, usually ramp up, especially the housing market. Today, Joe Biden becomes the 46th president of the United States, and he has a lot of goals on his agenda. Peter Dunn, Pete the Planner, joins us now to talk about Biden's plans to ease current frustrations for home buyers and buildings. Pete, good morning. Good morning. Politicians love home buyer programs. I mean, this is this has been something going on for decades, Jess. And so the Biden administration actually has a few plans in place, a few proposals to get first time home buyers in their first time homes, including a fifteen thousand dollar tax credit that would be immediate, meaning just this would actually be down payment money. You wouldn't have to wait until your tax return at the end of the year to get that fifteen thousand bucks. That's one part of the program. And then another part of this program would be to get the FHA lenders, uh, the Federal Housing Administration lenders, back to, to the ball game. Back in the Great Recession of 2008, 2009, a lot of the big banks stopped participating in the FHA program. And here's what that actually means to you and me. It means that low down payment programs could come back for housing, which could go a long way in getting people into affordable housing. Pete, I want to ask you about the inventory here because I see even just friends who are, you know, selling their homes and they go so fast. I mean, we're talking within a matter of hours in a lot of cases, bidding wars, things like that. You know, if you're a seller, it's a dream come true. But if you're a buyer, sometimes you really have to be on it immediately. Um, so there's also a push to increase inventory. How do we do that? Because I know one of the things you were talking about is decreased lumber costs too. Yeah, what what is the, sort of the the hidden message here is because of the new trade policy of the Biden administration, tariffs will start to go away with other countries. So therefore, building materials costs will go down. New construction will increase because the other two things I mentioned would actually increase housing prices because uh, it would bring more buyers to the pool. So. Hey, uh, it's early. The Biden administration is going to be issuing a lot of executive orders today, some around student loans, some around the eviction moratorium. But they're trying to throw everything they can at the economy to get us back on track. And mortgage rates have been historically low. Where do you see those going moving forward? Yeah, they're climbing. Uh, yeah, so they're going to be ticking up okay. over time here. Nothing alarming, but they, they will creep up as the economy stabilizes. If somebody's looking to buy a home for the first time and they're saying, hey, a $15,000 home buyer tax credit, first time home buyer tax credit that like you said, you get immediately. Where do they get more information on that? Because still buying a home is a big process. Oh, it's a huge process. Uh, there'll be more news on that. That has to get through Congress. Uh, uh, by, by the way, I, I hate to say this. I wouldn't hold your breath on the $15,000 mm -hmm. first time home buyer credit, but the other things will likely happen. There's just too many priorities right now for this administration to get that one pushed through. Pete the Planner, we'll be talking to you more, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.